Hello everyone, this time we will review some topics in geometry. The midpoint and distance formula, with clear example and illustration. Please subscribe on my channel. Here are some topics midpoint and distance in the coordinate plane. So our objective here is to review, develop and apply the formula for midpoint, the distance formula, Pythagorean theorem, to find the distance between the two points. Coordinate plane is a plane that is divided into four regions. We have there the horizontal and the vertical. So we have an example applying the midpoint formula. The midpoint M of the line segment AB with endpoints A. And the point A, we have X sub 1 and Y sub 1. And point B, second point is X sub 2 and Y sub 2. So to find the midpoint is the average of the abscessa. So first is X sub 1 plus X sub 2 divided by 2. And for the ordinate, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2, or the average of x and the average of y. Okay, so we have an example. Find the coordinates of a midpoint. Find the coordinates of a midpoint of line segment PQ with the endpoints P, negative 8 and 3, and Q, negative 2 and 7. So you need to plot the points here. So in this uh, graphing paper, we have the midpoint. Uh, find the midpoint of P and Q, negative 8 and 3, negative 2 and 7. So we have the formula x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So substitute in the formula negative 8 plus negative 2 over 2, 3 plus 7 over 2. So negative 10 over 2. And they, for the ordinate, we have 10 over 2 or negative 5, 5. So you can also locate the points here. Second example, find the coordinates of the midpoint of line segment E to F with endpoints negative 2, 4 E, negative 2, 3, and F, 5, and negative 3. So you can plot the points in a graphing paper. This is your hint how you're going to solve for the midpoint. So we have there 5, negative 3, and negative 2, 3. And find the midpoint. So solve using the formula negative 2 plus 5 over 2 and 3 plus negative 3 over 2. So the coordinate is 3 halves and 0 in the 3 halves and 0. Uh, ex another example given is the find the coordinates of an endpoint. Given is the midpoint. So we are going to look for the other endpoint. So M is the midpoint of XY, line segment XY. X has coordinates 2, 7, and M has coordinates of 6, 1. The midpoint is given. Find the coordinates of Y. So you can graph or let the coordinates of Y equal to XY. Then step two, use the midpoint formula. So 6, 2 is the midpoint of 2 plus x, the unknown, over 2. And the other, the ordinate, 7 plus y over 2. Then find the x ordinate. So we have here the equation. 6 equals 2 plus x over 2. That is for the y. So multiply both sides by 2. Then you come up, then simplify. You come up 12 equals 2 plus x. Cancel the denominator 2. Then subtract. Simplify. So you have there x equals 10. That is for the abscissa. For the other one is we have the, you can form an equation y equals 7 plus y. And then over 2. Then 2 times 1. You're going to cross multiply or multiply both sides by 2. Then simplify. Then you are going to subtract negative 7 to both sides. Simplify. So you have y is equal to negative 5. So the coordinates of the other endpoint y are 10 and negative 5. Okay, another example. S is the midpoint of RT. Then R has coordinates negative 
6 and negative 1 and S has coordinates negative 1 and 1. Find the coordinates of T. So same steps. Step 1, let the coordinates of T equal to XY. The order pair XY and then use the midpoint formula. Given is the midpoint negative 1, 1. Then you, have, you can substitute for the R point. Negative 6 plus x over 2 and negative 1 plus y over 2. Then find the x coordinate. Okay, you can form the equation. Set the coordinates equal. So negative 1 is equal to negative 6 plus x over 2. Then multiply both sides by 2. 2 times negative 1. Okay, and then simplify. Negative 2 is equal to negative 6 plus x. So add 6, so you come up x equals 4. To solve for the y coordinate, y coordinate, so 1 is equal to negative 1 plus y. You form the equation over 2, then multiply both sides by 2, simplify, add 1, so you come up y equals 3. So the coordinates of t are 4 and 3. Okay, and we have here reviewed the ruler postulate can be used to find the distance between two points of the number line. So you come up the distance formula. So in the coordinate plane, the distance D between the two points X sub 1 and Y sub 1 and X sub 2 and Y sub 2 is, is equal to the square root of X sub 2 squared, the quantity X sub 2 minus X sub 1 squared added to the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square. So example here, find the distance. Find fg and jk. fg and gk. Then determine whether the two plane segments are congruent. So step one, find the coordinates of each point. So we have there from the graph, f is 1, 2. G is 5, 5, J is negative 4, 0, and K is negative 1, negative 3. And then after that, use the distance formula. So we have substitute. So FG, 5 minus 1 squared plus 5 minus 2 squared. And then you squared both sides, 4 squared plus 3 squared equals 25. The square root of 25 is 5. For the J to K, Substitute in the formula, negative 1 minus the quantity negative 4 squared plus negative 3 minus 0 squared. So we have there 3 squared plus negative 3 squared. Square root of 18, which is 9 times 9 times 2, that is 3 square root of 2. So since we have the line segment FG, is not equal to gk since the square root we have 5 and 3 square root of 2. Another example find e to f and gh. Then determine if the two line segments are congruent. We have there uh, uh, fe, ef, and the gh. We have here this one and okay. Next, we have find the coordinates of each point. So we have there negative two from the graph negative two, one, f is negative five, five, g is negative one, negative two. H is 3, 1. And then after that, use the distance formula. Substitute negative e to f negative 5 minus negative 2 squared added to 5 minus 2 squared. So you have negative 3 squared plus 4 squared. Square root of 25 and that is 5. For g to h, substitute 3 minus negative 1 squared plus 1 minus negative 2 squared. So you have 4 squared of 4 squared plus 3 squared squared of 25, which is 5. So therefore, since EF is equal to the line segment GF, therefore, 
the distance from E to F is equal to G to H. Therefore, the line segment EF is congruent to line segment GH. GH. You can also use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between two points in the coordinate. So we have here, we all know that the two sides that form the right angle are the legs and the sides across from the right angles that stretches from one leg to the others is the hypotenuse. So we come up, A and B are the length of the shorter side and of the right triangle and the longest side is the hypotenuse. You can let C, that is length C. So we have the formula. In a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the length of the legs is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse, which is A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. We have here the graphical. So we have here, find the distance in the coordinate plane. Use the distance formula and the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance, the nearest tenths from D is 3, 4, to E is negative 2, negative 5. So we have here point negative 2, negative 5, and 3, 4. So using the distance formula, D to E, just substitute. X sub 2 minus X sub 1 squared plus Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 squared. That is square root. Substitute here. Negative 2 minus 3 squared plus negative 5 minus 4 squared. Then you come up. Negative 5 squared plus negative 9 squared. When you squared, it comes positive. 21 plus 81. We have 106 approximately. The square root of 106 is 10.3. That is the length of the hypotenuse. Using the Pythagorean theorem, count the units for sides A to B. So you can count the units here from A to B. So A is five, five units. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. While B is how many? We have five, one, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. When you substitute, 5 squared is 5 squared plus 9 squared. You have there 25 plus 81. That is 106. So square root of 106, similar. So the answer is 10.3. So the hypotenuse still same with the using the distance formula. So you can use either Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula. So use the distance formula and the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance to the nearest tens from R to S. So we have 3, 2 for R and negative 3, negative 1 for S. So you can use the distance formula. So we have here. So find the distance from R to S. So substitute negative 3 minus 3 squared plus negative 1 minus 2 squared. So negative 6 squared, square root of negative 6 squared plus negative 3 squared. So square root of 45, that is 8 times 5. So 3 square root of 9 times 5, 3 square root of 5, which is approximately 6.7. By using the Pythagorean theorem, count the units for sides A and B. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 for A and for B is 1, 2, 3. There are 3 units. So you can just square 6 squared plus 3 squared. You have 36 plus 9, 45. So C is equal to the square root of 45, which is the same, approximately 6.7. Okay, another one, another example. Use the distance formula and the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance to the nearest tens from R to S. So negative 4, 5, and S is 2, negative 1. Substitute 2, negative, 2 minus negative 4 squared plus negative 1 minus 5 squared. So we have there 6 squared plus negative 6 squared you have square root of 72, that is 6 square root of 2. 
approximately 8.5. By using the Pythagorean theorem, you can just count number of units from A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, for B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can just substitute in the Pythagorean theorem, 6 squared plus 6 squared, that is 36. And 72, the square root of 72 is approximately 8.5. So you can either use the Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone. Please watch my other math tutorial.